This is CopyWise, the first ever AI copywriting tool built on top of a marketing framework. It sounds quite interesting, but what does it actually mean for the quality of the output? Let's dive in and find out. First off, I need to start by saying that CopyWise is not for long form, so you can't go in there and generate an entire article, but it is made for short form content. This means you can create hooks, you can create ads, you can create content for ads, small stories, and this type of content. And the last year we have really seen AI in so many different types of tools for image generation, video generation, and of course text generation. And copyright is unique in the way that it's built on top of a marketing framework. That means that all of the tools are heavily focused and based on marketing, which makes it in theory perfect for advertisement and building stories for your brand. And the first tool I wanted to try out using CopyWise was the Script Builder. It said that this was perfect for YouTube Shorts, TikTok and Instagram Reels, but I must say that the output generated disappointed me a little bit because I was expecting to see a small story step by step where it suggested me what to talk about. But instead what I got was three different openings. And I think as I understand this tool, it is supposed to give me a small script that I can make a short video of. It's not supposed to give me multiple openings because they have other tools for that. So the first time I tried this tool, it didn't start well with CopyWise. But the reason why I wanted to start with this tool is that one of the founders behind CopyWise has a background within TikTok. He has previously worked with TikTok, so he knows, hopefully, what is working within TikTok, what the algorithm likes and what trends are just working. So I had really high expectations for this one. But the next tool I wanted to try out was the TikTok secrecy tool. And again, the founder or one of the founders from CopyWise is from TikTok, so I had high expectations here as well. And here I started slowly to see some of the value from CopyWise because I got some really interesting openings for TikTok videos, which I could also use, of course, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. So here I could start to see that the value that CopyWise can bring you is in the bits and pieces. It's not at a place now, at least on my testing, where it gives you a full script and you get the full value and the full benefit of it. But it is starting to show some value, at least the place that I found it most valuable was the hooks. Because both within the script tool and within the TikTok secrecy, we saw different types of hooks, different types of openings that were great, but we didn't see this full script. And what I'm really missing with these tools and basically all of the tools are some examples, some help text, they're telling me to be descriptive, but I'm not sure what I need to be descriptive about. And the better and more precise we use the tool, the better output it will be and the longer we will use CopyWise. So that's a win-win for everyone. So that is something I know they're already working on and I can't wait to see it because some examples that can guide us in the right direction will hopefully make us benefit more from this tool. But the last tool I wanted to try out was the potential objections. And this is perfect if you're running a SaaS or a different type of product in that niche, because potential objections is objections against using your tool. So this one I was quite skeptical about to begin with, because how do they know their objections without having data from me? So I was expecting a very generic result and that was what I got. So I got results like your product is too pricey, the design doesn't match what the user want, it's too difficult to use and it doesn't match into my workflow. Those I completely understand, they're definitely objections but they're very generic and they match basically any tool. So this tool, for this to really be valuable, it's almost a separate tool by itself where we could load in data from our users, maybe their behavior, their activity, and then based on all of this, it could crunch that data and then gives us an output. Maybe it can see some similarities in the data where the users, they basically just stop using the product. So this type of data and this type of result would make this potential objections super valuable. But right now it's just very generic talking about pricing, walkthrough, and those types of objections. So overall with CopyWise, I can see what direction they want to go in and what direction they're working towards. And it's definitely interesting 
because as mentioned in the introduction, it is the first AI copywriting tool built on top of a marketing framework. So if you're working with marketing, Copywise might be interesting for you because every tool is focused on the marketing aspect of that tool. So that means that the output is perfect for advertisement or maybe to use here and there on your landing pages. But overall then I feel the tools really need some more work to get more quality output and to get a more including text because right now we get great hooks but then it also stops there and on top of that then they really need to work on the ux because we need examples we need more help to understand how we can get the full benefit out of copywise so to answer the question from the introduction i can see differences especially when i compare it to niches and paper type which are more generic tools this tool copywise is more heavily focused on marketing and it's clear for me to see in the output, especially the TikTok aspect. I think it's great that they have a founder who's previously been at TikTok and he is taking his knowledge and poured into Copywise. And I feel we can see that. And to continue a little bit about what they need to do, we can also see that on the pricing because right now they're running a lifetime deal of 39 US dollars, which is very cheap for a tool like this. But this also shows that they know they're not there yet. They're not at the finish line where they have a polished product that can just deliver this quality output. So when they start to implement some of the future elements they're working on with the UX element, a better design overall, better output, more of these types of tools, then of course they should increase the price. But right now the price makes sense to what you get from the product. But when I look into what other people think about Copywise and what they're talking about, that overall people are quite excited, especially for the marketing aspect. They really want to use it for advertisement. And if you're working with marketing, then keep an eye out for Copywise. It's not polished and ready yet, but if they continue to develop this and basically achieve this quality output, then in the future we'll have a very powerful marketing tool that we can add and use in our advertisement and our daily work. But based on my own testing and the current state of Copywise, I can only give it three stars, but let's see where it ends up in the future. If you want to see my review of PeppaType, then you can watch it right up here, which is a more polished product than Copywise is right now. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.